Uh, Dimitri, let's uh, let's move on to the big stories of the or the big story, I guess, that kicked off today. Um, Tis the season, I guess. I mean, there's a reason Steve Spurrier had that famous quote that yep. uh, loved playing Georgia the second week of the year because you can count on him having a couple guys suspended. Well, Ra Ra Thomas isn't just probably going to be suspended. I doubt he ever puts a Georgia uniform on again. Uh, six counts against Ra Ra Thomas. I mean, in case you missed it, it's like a what? It's domestic violence, child. Yeah, uh, it's uh, three counts of child. Um, endangerment and three counts of uh i believe it's domestic abuse or domestic assault it's a, it's a strangely worded charge i had not seen before but that's what it that's what it adds up to yeah so not good not good yeah. at all um rob Ra thomas I, I found this out had something similar happen around this time last year in yep. regards to essentially he locked the girl in a room and she had like cuts and bruises and the charges were dropped and Whatever that was it. Yeah. Now I I don't think this one I don't think this one's going away. Um, and so the question now today comes up. I've seen it across social media. I've seen it on YouTube. And every time this happens, and and the like the hot button thing. There's certain things, right, Dimitri, in content that just yeah they just pop right. Like so when something like this happens, resurfacing the does Georgia have a culture problem? Like mm -hmm. just copy paste that title. Uh, that's what I've seen today. So when you look at it, and, and I would say this, it's not nothing. It, it's not because you look at like, for example, and I, and I thought a Georgia guy put it beautifully today. Like if you're someone who has been pounding the table, blaming Urban Meyer for what happened when he was at Florida, you got to, you got to hold Kirby smart accountable. I mean, yeah. if, if you, you got to keep it all fair across the board um, you know, the driving stuff's one thing. It's not a great look, especially after, you know, you have a, a staffer and a player that die. You would think that'd be the wake-up call. But this is a lot more severe than going 90 and a 55. Yeah, and look, I, I think the driving thing is really kind of a perfect snapshot of where Georgia is right now because I guess you can say – that this is more serious, right? Like, I, I hate comparing one crime against another because, look, we, we do have an example to point to of just how badly the driving stuff mm. can go. However, what I will say is you cannot make decisions for these kids. I totally get that. But clearly, the consequences have not been big enough to make these kids think twice about all of the driving uh, um violations rah rah thomas like this kind of stuff is on an island man like i i'd really like to know more about what it was that they excused last yeah. year not just what the reason that the charges were dropped but the reason that he was not excused from the team last year this is the kind of thing where if this were the habit if we were looking at like a art bryles baylor sort of situation with uh physical um assault uh, confrontation charges just stacking up against his guys then i would say hey you can't hold on to kirby like you, you right. gotta let kirby go there's a real problem with this program there is a problem it is not like he's got to go now but even if you are a georgia fan if like me you're an alabama fan that holds kirby in really high esteem if you're just a football fan that thinks the world of what they've accomplished you still have to acknowledge where we are with that program right now. And it's not, it's not good. And I think that it is fair to ask is a lot of this stuff being overlooked to keep them at the level they have been on the field for the last three years. A leak turns into a flood, Dimitri. I would say that yeah. um, it's one of those things. And, and I, you know, like you mentioned, this is a separate issue because what Ra Ra Thomas did compared to like driving. I mean, you hate to compare, but it is very different. But, I mean, I, I just look at a program, man, where, I mean, listen, elite-level performers get away with more than others that are not at that right. level. So, I mean, the driving stuff, I mean, have we? do we really feel like guys have gotten, like, really punished for that? I mean, I, I no, feel it, like it's more – it's just more know, like what's public funny? shaming, slap on the wrist. Yeah, you and yeah. I were you and I were told that, oh, the staff has absolutely tried to address the driving thing. Well, obviously not, right? Like, maybe they've said, don't do that. Maybe they've said, please don't do that. But they obviously haven't tried to address it in a serious way that stops it. And look, you cannot draw a straight line from the driving stuff to these charges against Ra Ra Thomas. Like there is a level of 
personal uh, accountability and decision making that this is all on Rara. However, you do kind of wonder is the culture he is viewing one that made him feel very safe in doing whatever it is he did to those kids in this particular case or to that woman last summer. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I definitely think when the actions can, and, and again, separate in, in incident here, but like when the actions continue over and over, there's just, there's no fear of consequence. Yeah. To your point. There, that's, there's really just no fear. And I mean, I, I'm not going to sit here and say that Georgia's just got like a trash culture because I thought Josh Pate made a good point. The same people that are saying that they, they have a horrific culture, you know, are going to, pick them to go 11 and one and they're going to say it's because of how good Georgia is. And essentially like, so are you saying that culture doesn't matter or right. that they actually have a good culture? Like you're contradicting yourself. Um, but something's gotta be, something's gotta be corrected. Here. I, I, I mean, mean just, I, I do think the reality is when you have the amount of the level of talent that Georgia has culture doesn't matter. Like when you, right. when you have right. five stars stacked on top of five star, all that matters is, are they ready to go and do they know the playbook? I, I think, fair or not, that is the reality of big-time college football. I think one thing you brought up earlier that just sort of dawned on me, I think the reason that Kirby has not held his feet, had his feet held to the fire the way we did with Urban Meyer in Florida is there is no glaring hypocrisy here, right? Like, there is no Tim Tebow being shoved out front. There is no Urban Meyer teaching courses on leadership at the uh, at the university. I, I do think perception-wise, that might be why we have not really scrutinized Georgia uh, in a much deeper way. doesn't mean we shouldn't. I, I just think it is easier to overlook when we don't have something that we can point to and feel superior to these people. Can we also say this, Dimitri, and just be totally honest? Like, you know, this is when stuff like this happens, it's a great opportunity for people, whether it's people that dislike Georgia or Georgia's rivals or whoever it might be to just take mm-hmm. shots at her. Can we just be honest and say that like nobody gives a shit if the culture's good or not? Like yeah. it's it's all about winning. That, that's all people yeah. care about. Like, I mean, I mean look, as long as it's not like really egregious. And I mean, I guess you could argue this is because like we're talking about harming children. That's right. That's bad. That's really bad. Um yeah, listen, unfortunately, I think that we as football fans, and I'm not saying this it, right. Look I'm at saying the NFL. This, I mean, it, it happens right. in the NFL all the time. Like, Right. I, I mean, like the NFL is a really good example. Like how many times do we have to see Roger Goodell and whoever it is now he is farming discipline out to? How many times do we have to see them fuck up discipline for a guy that has beaten the living shit out of his girlfriend or his wife uh, or, you know, in LaDainian Tomlin's case, as the kids? Um, how many times do we have to see that get screwed up before it sets in that the only thing the league cares about is, are they going to lose billions of dollars in this Sunday ticket case? Right. I I think that if you spin this back to the college world, unfortunately, and I do think this is a bad thing. I'm not, uh, I'm not scapegoating here. Unfortunately, we have these instances like Baylor or Baylor the other time that people can point to and say, well, at least we're not that. And they do have a valid point, but it doesn't mean that all you should strive for is not the lawlessness in Waco uh, under Art Bryles watch. You should strive to be better than that. I mean, speaking of NFL, Dimitri, like like Joe Mixon, for example, I'll, I'll just never forget seeing that video of him, like, right. just decking that chick. Like, And I yeah. mean, it's like kind of forgotten now. I and mean, he's, he's a great player, but it just goes to show, like, if Joe Mixon sucked, we we wouldn't listen. You know what I mean? It'd be much different conversation. So let's talk about the other one that everybody has in their head is Ray Rice, right? Yeah. Like that video in the elevator was horrifying. Um, and the what is the difference between the two? Because Ray Rice, if you if you read stories about him and you talk to uh women's organizations that he's worked with, like Ray Rice has done the work. He deserved a second chance. Ray Rice was on the wrong side of 30. And Joe Mixon wasn't. So there was a different bar um, that those two guys were judged by as to whether or not they got to, quote unquote, come back from this. Um, I think that you've got to you're at a point with Georgia now where you have to eliminate the different bars for when it is we address because it looks bad, but it has not spun out of control. The only place left to go if you don't address it seriously is for it to spin out of control. And, you know, it's it's going to cut down one of the most promising coaching careers we have ever seen if something is not d- seriously done about it. 
There's probably nobody more excited for fall camp to start than Kirby Smart, Dimitri, because he can because he can get his hands on them then, and they you know at least keep closer tabs. You know, hard yeah. for you to screw up that badly when you got six a.m. lifts and you're in the building, what have you. So, good news for Kirby. They're going to get going next week. You, you mentioned that uh, Josh Pate was making the point that all the people that say culture problem are picking Georgia to go eleven and one. Does 